I just got home from the most delicious vacation in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Can you tell by my tan? I've been vacationing in Puerto Vallarta for about the past 10 years, and I can tell you exactly where to eat. We like to hang out in the romantic zone. That's where all of the local restaurants are, the best food, the fresh food, and we've tried so many restaurants. We have our favorites, and I'm gonna run them down for you. So if you're planning a vacation, to Puerto Vallarta, these are the spots that you absolutely have to hit up. We're gonna start off this video with our absolute top of the list favorite taco place. It is called Don Shava. This place is absolutely fantastic. It's a little teeny taco bar and the, the, the guys cooking all the tacos and all the things have their kitchen in the middle of the restaurant and seats are all around it. So you can sit at the bar, you can watch them cook. <laughs> there is the most incredible, joyous, fun Mexican vibe in Don Chavo. On our most recent trip, we just got home two days ago, we ate there five times in three weeks. That's how good it is. It is just fresh and simple, great food. My husband loves to get a baked potato there. You don't think baked potato in Mexico? Why? But let me tell you, they cook this potato on an open flame and then they put it in a cast iron skillet with butter and sour cream and cheese and they serve it with a side of freshly made tortillas. It is just something you gotta have. Every time we go to Don Shava, I try something different. It's always fantastic. You can never go wrong. The number one reason that I go to Don Shava, the number one reason that it is at the top of my list is their guacamole. I don't know what they're doing to this guacamole, but I tell everybody, Don Shava has the best guacamole in all of Puerto Vallarta. So go in, get a seat at the bar, watch these guys cook, Order a cold beer or a fantastic margarita, get a bowl of guacamole and freshly made chips, and just hang out for a little while. Take in the scenery, smell all the food before you decide what you're gonna order for dinner, and I promise you will have the best taco you have ever had at Don Shava. One of my other favorite restaurants is Frankie's Spaghetti House. It is an old school Italian restaurant no frills, not fancy. We went to Frankie's Spaghetti House three times during our last vacation because it is so good. We did make one visit to Frankie's Spaghetti House with a group of friends one night. Frankie's is known for their fantastic pizza, so we ordered pizza as an appetizer with pineapple and ham on it, and it knocked my socks off. Let me show you a little clip that I took when we were there. It's one of the last places that we went to go eat before we came home. So tonight we're at Frankie's Spaghetti House. This is one of our very favorite restaurants, top of the list. They put a lot of effort into their old world decorations. The ceiling is covered in grapes because wine is a really big thing here. I'm actually up on their rooftop terrace right now. We just got set up here. There's nobody up here but us at the moment. So I wanted to film this video. But every time we come here, I don't even have to look at the menu. I get the eggplant Parmesan. It is my go-to. My husband always gets chicken Parmesan and we split a Caesar salad. It is always fantastic. Love Frankie's Spaghetti House. Very reliable, excellent food. Make a reservation if you can, and you just have to come to Frankie's. It's a must do when you come to Puerto Vallarta. Moving on to Thai food. You must go to Siam's Thai Kitchen. This is a restaurant that my husband and I discovered a couple years ago, so it's fairly new to us, and it is delicious. This is one of the first places my husband wants to go the minute we have wheels down in Puerto Vallarta. We ate there twice on our most recent trip to Puerto Vallarta, and every time we tried something new, new appetizers, but let me just tell you, their vegetable spring rolls are to die for. The lettuce wraps. I'd never tried the lettuce wraps until this most recent visit, and oh my goodness, it came with a bowl with a chicken and vegetable mixture with the sauce on it and these beautiful lettuce cups. That was our appetizer. Also followed by the vegetable spring rolls because you have to have the spring rolls. I always order the cashew chicken. 
It never lets me down. It is so delicious with the fresh pineapple and the chicken and the cashews and the red pepper. You can get jasmine rice or coconut rice. I always get the coconut because I love the sweet rice with the sort of spicy cashew chicken and peppers. It is fantastic. And my husband gets the drunken noodles. Then we ordered a dessert. It was little fried wontons with caramel inside and there was a fruit dipping sauce on the side. So good. I love the vibe at Siam's. Reservations are highly recommended although, and it's just a great place to go. The cocktails are excellent, and you absolutely, if you're into Thai food, must check out Siam's Cocina Thai. Then there's a little food truck, a food booth that we go to over and over and over while we're in Puerto Vallarta. I really don't know the man's actual name. We call him the churro man because that's all he serves. Churros and churros and churros. And he has the best churros, the freshest churros, the most crunchy and crispy and cinnamony and sugary churros in all of Puerto Vallarta, the churro man. He is located on the corner by the church in the romantic zone. You just kind of have to go looking for him but he has been in this spot for years and years and years. He has the perfect setup. He makes his batter for his churros homemade and he is making them fresh, whipping out churros every single night, except for Sunday. He's not there on Sunday. How do I know that? Because I went looking for him on a Sunday. I did a live walking tour around the romantic zone in Puerto Vallarta and my husband said, oh, let's walk over and see the churro man live. And we did and he wasn't there and it was a Sunday night. So I do believe that's the one night that he's closed. Go see the churro man for incredible fresh churros. And one thing I do need to add, all of the restaurants in Puerto Vallarta typically have one day of the week when they're closed and it's all random. Everybody has a different day. So check out their Facebook page or look them up online before you decide where you're gonna go to dinner and make sure you don't show up on a night that that restaurant is closed. If you're in Mexico and you're just dying for pizza, you have to go to Los Muertos Brewing Company. Los Muertos is a staple in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. It's where everybody goes for pizza and beer. They have pizza, they have wings, there's TVs all over the restaurant, generally playing some kind of sport, and their pizzas are gigantic. They are all one size. Just know that. So you're gonna have pizza for lunch the next day. They'll give you a box to take it home. But Los Muertos is where you wanna go for craft beer and pizza. Another taco place, one of my very favorites and known for their Al Pastor tacos is Las Guayras. Again, it's in the romantic zone. It's back just a little bit further than the other restaurants that I'm mentioning in this video, but it is worth the walk. Las Guayras is a family owned restaurant. They used to be a food truck, a food stand out in the street. And a couple years ago, they moved up the same block, but they're in a little space that they actually have seating inside now. Get the Al Pastor. Get the Al Pastor. Get the Al Pastor. It is layers of thinly sliced marinated pork that is layered up on a skewer with a big chunk of pineapple on top, and it is just slowly cooked in front of an open charcoal flame. Every time you order Al Pastor, they shave it off of that spigot and get a piece of pineapple and put it on the top of your taco, your volcan, your enchilada, your burrito, your quesadilla, however you want it, just get the Al Pastor. This year, I actually tried something new. I got the Al Pastor on a torta. Do you know what a torta is? It is a huge Mexican sandwich. It's all about the bread and the al pastor, and I don't know that I'll ever go back. I used to get my al pastor on a volcan, which is a flat, crispy taco. Mm -mm. I think I've converted to the torta. Las Guayras is located between the ice factory and the tortilla factory in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. One side note about Las Guayras, a lot of the food tours and the food companies in Puerto Vallarta love to take groups of people into Las Guayras. That is actually how we discovered Las Guayras about 10 years ago. We went on a food tour and it's great. I love it that tourists are coming in and discovering a lot of the local places. So if you show up at Las Guayras and there's a big group of people all holding a tote bag, 
that's a food tour. But don't worry, they move in and out pretty quickly and there's plenty of room for you to go in and get your Alpass door. The last place that I'm gonna show you in today's video is a new place to us. We discovered it this year on vacation. It was actually recommended to us because of their fantastic cocktails. It's a little gastro pub called 116 Pulpito. And yep, you guessed it, that's their address, 116 Pulpito. It is a super small, and I mean like five tables inside, super small cocktail bar that serves tapas. They do have about four or five tables out on the sidewalk, but it's pretty close quarters and all of the people going up and down the sidewalk are walking right beside your table. Reservations were needed. We didn't know that. So we did end up sitting on a sidewalk table, but it was totally fine. I had the sangria, oh my goodness. The sangria is huge. It is delicious and it is their specialty. My husband got the coolest drink. It was Chipotle, Rosilia, and pineapple. It was garnished with a leaf and a muddled piece of cigar. Yes, a cigar. He thought that was so cool. So cool. We did order a plate of tempura vegetables for an appetizer. There was sweet potatoes, carrots, zucchini, squash, mushrooms, and maybe some other things coated in tempura batter and deep fried and served with a sweet and sour sauce and a garlic aioli. We ate it up, it was fantastic. Then inside they have a tapas bar. Bruschetta, there was some things with shrimp and then they charge you for how many that you put on your plate. So it was a really cool place, great cocktails. We will definitely be back to 116 Pulpito. So those are my favorite restaurants in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. But just know there are so many eating options. Restaurants, cocktail bars, churro stands, tapas bars, smoothie clubs. There's just anything and everything in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. For the most part, you can never go wrong. But these are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.